Hey guys, how's it going? Matt here with another video. We are on the uh, North American Van Life Industry Tour and uh, a few episodes ago we picked up a chemical, uh, a coating called lizard skin. It's a thermal barrier as well as a sound deadener, two different parts. <laughs> I ran into a bit of an issue because they didn't uh, provide me with a space to spray it, which is not their problem. Uh, they supplied me with the, with the stuff. But they said that if you're going to spray it, you should probably do it before you head up north to where you're going to get to sub-freezing temperatures because, the, because it is water-based and it could degrade the, degrade the mixture. Put out the bulletin to my crew on, on uh, social media, to all the people in the Jayo Nation, and I said, is anybody out there that can help me? Through a few contacts, uh, I was able to find a shop right here at Seaside Auto House in Ventura, California. Uh, it's nice and warm. They have a bay that's ready for me to spray. These are very, very cool people here. The guy that runs this place, I haven't met him face to face, but we will in a second. His name is Ninja, and he's allocated a corner that I can just chill at and, and do all of the interior coatings uh, of the lizard skin. This process should take about five days or so, one day for prep and then four days for coating. Each coating takes about 24 hours. So it's gonna take uh, a little bit of time. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps of the process of me coating this van. Um, we're gonna have a little fun. Um, hopefully we won't make too many mistakes. Hopefully there won't be too much strife and craziness. But knowing me and this van so far, it'll be a mixture of all of that. Drama and successes all mixed together. Anyways, that's the uh, next couple of episodes, probably, probably more than just one, but we'll see. Jayo. Let's meet the crew at Seaside. Hey! hey. What's going on? Ninja? Yep. Cool, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Hello. you. Hello. Thank you very much for allowing me the opportunity to uh, of chill out in the corner. We'll become friends over the next couple oh, of days. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we do pretty much everything. So we wrap. Oh, happy holidays. Yeah. <laughs> the holiday is over, so we're going to change this wrap out. This is the shop car. Okay. We're starting to take it apart. And we've got a wrap coming in tomorrow. We've got a Camaro coming in here, and then you'll be right here. This is you. Wow. Yep. Okay. So um, you, have, you have quite a bit of space. This is a great, a lot of space. You know what, when you, when you showed me last time, right, mm -hmm. in the video, you were pointing to that side, were you? I was. Because I was thinking, oh, angling the van might have been I was, tricky. And then I, and then I realized it's probably going to be better if we give you a corner yeah because then you have more lighting you have more options to go in and out if you want and then um overall you can kind of separate yourself and you know what like it's going to be perfect i'll park with the sliding door facing that wall and then this light will just fill the van which is great very cool very we can cool change, we can change the lighting and uh anything you'd like to, to accommodate for you um, I'm only going to need this space and then I have another wrap scheduled after this wrap. Okay. But it's, you're not going to be in our way. No, no I, I'll be right here. Is that the, is that the uh, air compressor, right? Yeah, that's an air compressor. Okay. This is a cord that you can use. It, it's pretty long. I think it's okay. like 50 feet. This place is a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I looked comfortable, but now I'm like, oh man, I could just chill out here for a while. This is very yeah, nice. Yeah, you can totally, you know, totally chill here and uh, it's got anything you need, just let me know. Is this a wrap? This is a wrap. This yeah. is a wrap? Yeah, this, no, this is this is a carbon fiber over, overlay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's an overlay. But they make carbon fiber wraps, right? They do. Um, not quite as shiny and as uh, deep. Can you turn these wheels? Yeah. yeah. You, you can turn them that won't... I mean, the, the, well, popping, that wheel I'm, is touching. Oh yeah, I'm popping this off now. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, holy moly. This is, this is on air suspension. That's something okay. we do here. So when you start the car up, it automatically raises itself up to okay. your desired ride height. Okay. Now I can't drive like this. A lot of people do drive like this. I can't drive <laughs> yeah, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm from Detroit, man. We had our own style of this, <laughs> right? Like it was the spinners. It was yeah. the spinners, you know? I'm right spinners, I'm right spinners, but they don't stop. So this is gonna be coming off and then we're gonna do a full detail polish. Um, and then we're going to be adding the new color and uh, I haven't I haven't shown anybody new color yet to surprise Okay, anything proprietary you tell me yeah. and I won't record <laughs> it, right? No, we're okay. okay. We're okay. Yeah Oh, it's a dually. Yeah, this is great. You have plenty of space on this side, too Would you look at look at this light look at the lighting here and I'll tell you what, it's, it's dark in there, but it won't be dark as soon as I open up these back doors. Then, let there be light. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to tent 
this whole van off. I'm gonna have to remove everything from the inside. That's all the temporary uh, seating places in my temporary bed, all of the shocks and struts and the windows that I've collected from LA. I'm gonna have to remove the floor and I'm gonna have to prep all of these surfaces to prepare for, for coating because there's some some insulation that was put here that I'm gonna have to tear off and, and clean up. My mission today is actually to make it so this entire uh, cavernous opening is as cavernous as possible. That's job number one. And so we'll have really nice light. We'll have a really nice venue to do this. Again, thank you very much to Ninja at uh, Seaside Auto House for providing me the space to do this and the time. Um, we'll be camping out here overnight, telling stories, editing videos, and just having a good time. Let's get started. What's going on over here? So he's basically going to use this fender roller to push his fender out because he's living that low life. His car is super low, mine's on bags. So I'm super low when I want to be, but I can raise the car up so I don't, you know, okay. kill him with the bottom of my car. Okay. He likes that super, super low car. So low. it's going to push, push this. So it's going to push it this whole fender out so that he doesn't oh. rub too much because he pretty much has no suspension stroke. Wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, wow. so it's a very wide wheel and he's very low. So his fender will sit right here. So right there. Right there. Wow. Yeah. So he mounts it to the hub and then slowly he cranks it out. Yeah, just gotta take your time. Yeah. Oh, I can see it like. All this to make a big wheel for <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you, you like what you like, man. Yeah. You like what you like. You make it work. So I'll tell you what ideally I'd like to do. Ideally, I'd like to take and, and strip as much down as I can. I can't take off uh, the kill mat strips. I tried, tried really hard to like remove these because technically you really want to go directly onto metal, but the guy who owned this van before me, Royce, did a really good job in, in, in doing this kill mat, but I, I wanted to go one step farther with the lizard skin. So I'm going to prep this area all today, get all of this uh, contact cement and uh, whatever this insulation was, get all of that off. What I really would like to do uh, primarily is get this area here under this, this pad and, and then thermally coat that. Maybe not even sound deadening is not as important as a thermal barrier there. And then of course a thermal barrier on the floor itself. That's going to be that's going to be really really nice. By coating the floor, it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be great because I'm going to install a hot water system in the van and that hot what's called hydronic hydronic heating system. And that hydronic heating system is going to run over the floor and um, is going to provide me a warm warm floor environment. Uh, if I didn't thermally protect the floor, a lot of that heat would just escape through the floor out the bottom of the van. But by me being able to spray this thermal barrier, it's going to really, really help to insulate that, that critical component. Taking these seats off is not fun, <laughs> but, but that's okay. Oh God, I love the light here. I love the, the light here is amazing. Anyways, so what I've got to do now is I'm going to remove these seats and move, remove all the moldings so that I can. Any, anything I can possibly be, possibly remove, I will remove. But the one thing that's going to be interesting is this floor. This floor is stuck down pretty solid. Um, he did a pretty good job, but I'm still going to have to remove it. It looks like he just kill matted the the crap out of it, which is great. I still would like to go over it with one coating of the sound deadener and then um, one, uh, one or two coatings of the, of the thermal, thermal barrier. That is the, that's the most, I, I, I think the floor and the ceiling are the two most important places that, that, that will receive the most direct uh, heat and cold and things like this. But I can tell here that he's got it, he's got it glued down pretty good. It's not going to be fun. Honestly, Royce, the, the, the guy who had this van that I bought it from, did a really, really good job. 
um, building him this floor. Oh my gosh, he's got Havelock wool sandwiched in there. And he's got like, like a really, really nice piece of Baltic birch. I'm gonna have to try and make sure not to, to ruin that. And he's got it all spray foamed in. A really, really nice job. Unfortunately, I really want the hydronic, hydronic floor. So eventually this, this floor is gonna have to come up. So I might as well get it up now. Once I spray that thermal barrier, it'll be like, you'll have kill mat above that sound deadener, above that uh, thermal barrier, ceramic coating. Above that um, will be probably the, uh, the hydronic heating system. And then wood above that with the channels cut in so that the hydronic heating can, can come through. Uh, I'll have to think about how exactly I'll layer it all. I'll have to ask uh, when I get up to Washington, I'm gonna meet with Just Roaming Design and get my uh, uh, Victron uh, system installed, or at least get my Victron system set up so that I can bring it back and install it. But they've built a lot of vans. I'm, I'm interested in picking their brain on how exactly I should lay lay the floor together, but this is pretty cool. I mean, he's, he's kill matted the whole thing very, very well. Very well. On the Ford Transit, we have these ugly looking things that uh, sort of protect the uh, airbag system. I'm gonna pull them off, we'll spray in there. Um, I'm also gonna make a video about how I redirected this, this harness, wire harness, all the way through to the back. That was a big job, actually. I had to cut all of this, all of this off here so that I could weave this harness on in. It was not a fun thing to do, but I'm happy I did it. I'll have to take this headliner all off and then the seats. And then I think after that, I'll work on the floor a little bit more. How to roll your fenders to the bar. Yeah, when you lower it down, I want to focus and get, yeah, the, right get the wheel just kind of yep, like compressing, compressing in. That'd off. be cool. That's, that's the... <laughs> like a glove. Yeah. If not, I'm going to need a potato peeler. Yeah. <laughs> It's to like shave off some more. Yeah, off the off the actual tire. Oh, off the tire. <laughs> so before I take the headliner off, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I learned last time I took it off that pretty much drove me insane um, until I figured out how to do it. So first, you take off the uh, visor. It's pretty easy. You just remove this screw here. But there's one, two, three, four screws along the headliner that you have to get out. And don't go in here and try and poke this off because you're just gonna scratch up the plastic and you're not gonna get anywhere. What you need to do is take off the screws here and here, there and there. Then what you'll be able to do is drop this down and get your hand in there and get a tool and then pop those caps off from from the back so you can't get at them now but after you remove these two bolts this will fold on down and you can get in there take it from me don't do it the hard way because you'll be really pissed off when you scratch that plastic because it's not like you can you can fix it up I, I ruined one of those plugs this comes off pretty easy actually um, you just have to make sure that when you when you go in here there's a clip here and there's a clip here and you have to press them in so that the the clip squeezes and then you can drop it down don't pull on it too hard because you'll end up uh hurting it just like i did i, I ended up kind of tweaking those clips but if you take your time and slip uh, uh like a piece of a flat blade screwdriver or something thin in there you can push it on down and pop on down i try and take and uh, use the screws and like for now, just have them tapped back in because there's a bunch of different types and maybe I can tape over this when I spray the headliner and I don't have to search for the screw. I'll just keep it there. Same here, this screw in the forward section is different than the screw in the uh, in that, that, well, that one. So I'm gonna use tape and I'm gonna tape these to where they are in the, uh, in the headliner. So these are the clips here and here so you have to stick a screwdriver in to this part and then press it in right here and then it'll pop down but you got to press pretty hard otherwise I, I i took a gouge out of this right here and I, I really messed it up so remember just put it there and then afterwards this thing just sort of 
folds down. You unplug the uh, the harnesses, and then you're good to go. Then what you have to do is you gotta um, pry off all these with a uh, with a tool. So I have these two tools here. So the plastic one for softer stuff, and then this metal one is really useful to kind of like get right in there and pry the uh, pry the caps off. Just get up underneath there. That was easy. Get up underneath there. That was easy. Get up underneath there. That's easy. That's easy. That's easy. And then this one is the last one. There is one more bolt though you have to look out for. It's up the, right in there. You gotta get that bolt before the whole headliner comes down. Okay, so now that I took that screw out, the whole um, headliner now is, is, is hanging. Now you have an opportunity to get, your, get a tool or something into that space. A lot of times you can use a screwdriver or even this tool here. Let me see if I can remember how to do it. There's one down. So I pulled off the pan here. There's really some solid bolts. These bolts are, are very, very tight. I might actually have to use an impact uh, to actually get them back in. So this side's out. The driver's side's gonna be a real pain in the ass. But I thought first to start with this one, it'd be good to go. I'm sort of just feeling this out, actually. Uh, I wasn't 100% sure how much of the floor I could pull up, but it seems like uh, if I can remove the driver's side seat, I could pretty much pull pull everything out from, from below. I also took off the uh, moldings here all the way down to the uh, base. I don't think I'm gonna spray up all this high, but I think I will start and spray from here down and then across the floor. Today and tonight, it's gonna be all getting the floor ready for, uh, for spraying tomorrow. Cool. Now this is the rear seat. Underneath this rear seat is the, the battery bank. I have two batteries. They're gonna have to, everything's gonna have to be removed in order for me to get this. Uh, it's kind of frustrating because the only thing that I'm trying to remove here is uh, this plastic floor mat. I could have probably left a lot of this in there, but I just want to be able to do a good clean job. So I'm just trying to remove as much as possible. This brake lever here isn't going to be able to completely come off. So I'll have to bag it. But I think that sound deadening and, uh, and thermal, putting that thermal barrier on the floor here is going to do a, like wonders. If in case you're wondering, these are Scopema swivels. And uh, if my video isn't up, for the installation and story behind these. Um, I'll link it eventually. <laughs> but yeah, these things are great.
I am about to rip out the floor mat. And this thing is tucked oh so nicely in so many places. I actually had to disassemble the dash. Um, I had to take two struts, one here and one there, that off. They're up here now on the, on the top of the dashboard. I'm not going to be able to take everything off of the um, driver's side seat, so I'm going to have to sort of pivot it up and maybe maybe tie it to the ceiling so that it's like elevated and I can spray around it and then bag it off. But I'm, I am a little bit nervous that uh, when, when we're finished and, and I've got to put it back together, I'm not going to be able to fit it in as beautifully as it is now. <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. As of now, I'm on my own. Ninja just left. And so um, I'll be here until tomorrow morning. I have a bathroom, I have a little place to sleep, I have a warm environment to work, and I got all the time in the world. So it's kind of neat. It's, you know, it's, it's a testament to, to good people, you know, like obviously he has to trust me enough to leave me here in his shop with all of his stuff. And he's like, any of my tools, you know, I, you go ahead and use whatever you need in order to do the job. So that's very cool. On a project update uh, front, I, I want to take this floor mat out, but I can't take it out because it's somehow sandwiched in the middle here. Underneath, underneath here, it's, it's, it's somehow uh, really, really in there. So I'm going to have to start disassembling the dashboard, which is something I was not prepared to do. I was thinking that the floor mat was going to come out. I was thinking that the seats were going to be a bit more difficult than they were but this is going to be a bit of a problem and i'm going to slowly get deeper and deeper in and in hopes that i can back myself out of it when i have to reassemble the dashboard that's the that's the key remembering so as we go through i'm taking pictures with my phone of okay this piece comes out then this piece comes out then this piece comes out and i'm hoping that I can reverse that. The problem is that that's going to happen in like five days. So what I'm doing now is preparing the dashboard for spraying, uh, you know, preparing the floor and everything for spraying. And, and I got a lot to do back there too. I got to make sure that I don't forget exactly how this thing came apart <laughs> so I could put it back together again. Anyways, I mean, I got a whole bunch of stuff I got to do back there. So I do love that I am in a well-lit well -lit place. This is so cool. Okay, guys, so a little update before I continue on too far. I am disassembling the seat uh, wiring from the seat cage on the driver's side. I already disconnected the uh, parking brake, and I uh, pulled off the plate here that, that you can wire some uh, positive uh, uh, points to. Actually, show you it. Uh, this, this piece here. Um, so that's that's now gone. That was positives. Then I'll be able to pull this whole wire harness off and then get this box out. One thing that I'd like to do actually is I'd like to paint this uh, um, lever, uh, seal it up, maybe do some primer work on it. So I'll, I'll do that. I, 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 I kind of chose to do something here because up into this area, you have this like little stopper here and uh, it's a cushiony stopper and the, the cover uh, wrapped around it. What I'm going to do is, I, what I did is I cut it. Um, it's the only cut I made on this so far. I think that's the only one I'll need to do. So I'll be able to pull all of this out and then I'll be able to spray it all. It'll be beautiful. And then I'll just have to tuck it back up there and try and figure out the best way to secure it. Uh, but I think it's actually not going to be a big problem. All right, guys, so for better or for worse, the uh, cockpit is ready to be bagged. When I say bagged, it means I've got to wrap all of the things that I don't want to be sprayed in uh, either uh, plastic bags and then uh, tape them or stick uh, earplugs into holes. This was a tip that was given to me by Lizard Skin. They said, uh, shrink down these uh, earplugs and then you stick them in any sort of threaded hole that you want to keep and then after you spray, you could just pop those things out and, and you're kind of good to go. Let me show you what I did here. So the wheel well here will now get sprayed. Uh, the whole basin here is open to be sprayed. I took and 
I connected a bungee cord here. So I'll be able to kind of get under here and spray. I'll have to protect all of this, but at least it's sort of floating. And maybe I can get under this. Maybe even I could put a couple of blocks of wood here that'll lift that, that, that up. You know, it's funny, it's only a 2020, but it sure got a lot of dirt here. It's amazing how, how quick it gathers. I also pulled the, uh, I think that was the uh, airbag uh, module. I pulled that off. So I'm gonna have to, uh, yeah, restraint control module. So I'm gonna have to wrap that up tight, keep it over here with all the other components. And then uh, uh, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start working on the floor here and then get it up. This might be a job. So I need to clean up all this stuff. Then I need to start working on the floor here. Okay, so I just lifted this uh, Baltic birch. This is a great piece of uh, three quarter inch Baltic birch, birch plywood. I'm gonna try to afterwards lay this back down, but uh, my old friend Royce, who I bought the band from, he had this all laid down with, uh, with a little bit of uh, um, like a glue, caulking glue. And he had the Havelock wool that was like in between. But looks like I can wrap up the Havelock wool so that that won't go to waste. Um, even these guys, I'll probably lay them down afterwards. I'll keep everything and lay it down basically the way it was. It'll be a little rickety, but at least um, the structure is there. And it seems like there's just about three three pieces of this Baltic birch plywood. So I'll just boom, 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 lay them up against the wall over here and then go into cleanup mode. Seeing as though there's all this kill mat on the floor, I might just do a light, uh, a light uh, coating of the uh, sound deadener just to kind of even it out and then lay the uh, thermal, thermal barrier. I mean, <laughs> that's a lot of kill mat. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Royce. Okay, so uh, everything's out of the van. I do have to pull off these panels on the door. Uh, just some small stuff, because I'm going to spray these doors. I'm about where I wanted to be long ago so this this first phase which was ripping everything out took a lot longer because of the dashboard but now i can kind of get into this thing and start taping and uh prepping now um one of the interesting things is over on this side this is all going to be windows and the same with these back these doors here they're all going to be windows and that's going to be a window those areas there won't be windows so the areas where there will be a window, those will be cut out. So I don't need to do any like sort of uh, too much primp work on those things because we're not gonna even spray over them. But we are gonna spray over everything else, uh, including this floor, which which is covered with kill mat. And so I'm gonna have to, I, I, I don't like the idea of spraying over the kill mat. And Lizard Skin did not recommend that I spray, spray over the kill mat. They didn't say, they didn't say it's impossible. They just said they never really had anybody do that. Normally they spray the uh, lizard skin and then put the kill mat over it. But it is, it is like tar. And so it's really, really hard to pull off. And uh, it's really, really messy. Um, so I, what I think is I can spray over it with the sound deadener and it will just sort of like combine and form a extra thick sound deadening layer. Um, I, I mean, it's, it is what it is. Uh, there's no way I'm going to rip off all of this uh, kill mat. But I can prep as much as I can uh, and, uh, and get it ready for, uh, for spraying. And I will spray over it tomorrow. I also need to sand the whole surface and, uh, and, then, and then tape everything off. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to try and get as much of, uh, of the... Uh, original insulation off as I can. Um, it seems like this abrasive pad can can take a bunch of it off. I did a pretty good job on it right here. You can see I did this area here and then 
if you just kind of I can get I can get most of it off with that almost 10 o'clock. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna find a way to sleep here and then uh, get get started early in the morning tomorrow. This is gonna be a, a long project to get this surface prepped. I think I'll probably finish prep tomorrow and then it'll be four days of, of uh, four days of, uh, of, of painting and, and, and coating and, and lizard skinning. I am a little bit nervous, to be honest, with the with the consistency of this kill mat and the, the fact that I'm going to coat over it. It's not ideal, you know. Could be really cool. It could be disastrous. Move forward and figure it out. But yeah, I'm tired. <sighs> oh, catch you tomorrow. Like, subscribe, share, comment, jayo, you know, all that jazz.